Hi guys. This is where I am again. I come here quite often to do um, little sessions with different spirit boxes and what have you. Why? Because it's local to where I live. And I do get communication here. Actually, I've seen great communication down here quite often. Well, not we got today is another thing entirely. So, what am I doing here today? Well, previous video, I showed you how to set up the PSP7 to work on well, what is known commonly as magnitude mode. I call it hush mode. So I'm kind of hoping that the spirits will come through today. I'm going to be somewhere down there in the end. And just see the gravestone. There's about one, two, three, maybe four, four, five down there. That's like sort of gravestones. But I'm going to take you for a little wander around here. But yeah, we set up this uh, PSB 7 on magnitude mode. And my house is not very active. Uh, occasionally you might have the one or two there. But um, generally speaking, I can't do live sessions in my place where I live because there's no one there to do live sessions with. So I'm just walking down the back of the cemetery here. You can see down here, it's all roughly overgrown. When I brought this up once with uh, the authorities, they actually turned around and said it's because they want wildlife to come and take it back over. And I'm not so sure that's a good way to do things, to tell the truth. I'm, I feel it's a little bit disrespectful. I mean, look at this. See? Well, you want your final resting place to look like that? Hmm, I'm not sure for myself if I would like that to be done. I think if they're going to let it go to wildlife then they should maybe um, do something good like put a board up or something showing the amount of people who died here rather than just that little plaque by the entrance. Actually have a proper commemorative piece with names instead of numbers. Names instead of numbers. This is why I say that. Look over here. Maybe you can't see them too clearly, but there's a whole series of graves going down that way. And all they got, I'll just show you this one. All they got is a number. Nothing there to tell you who they were, what they did, where they came from, just a number. My personal view is that that is pretty disgusting. But, I don't know. I, I don't know why people do this, or if it's right or wrong. Maybe it won't cost too much money or it might disturb the spirit's final resting place too much. I guess it's a peaceful place to come walking. Peaceful, except for the fact that you've got uh, noise from different firms that work in the area. There's one grave over here that actually does have a name on it. And uh, I'm just going to take you over there now so you can see it. Just be careful to tread on the pavement and not to, uh, or the path I should say. But there you go. A825. Alfred Hood. A 
and he died at an old hospital, which is basically the uh, area where I live now. That's A825. Someone obviously remembers this guy. And it's only right that he should be remembered. Over there. As you can see. Let's turn it around so you can see it properly. There you go. A831. Who was he? I don't know. That one over there is A840. And you've got all these around here. And as you can see, it's just it's just numbers, no names. Apart from the odd one or two, where people are actually taking the effort to find out. Always stay on the paths when you're in cemeteries, guys. Because look at this lot here. There's nothing here telling you who these people were. You just don't know who you're walking on, do you? You just don't know. So always stay in the past. It's more respectful that way. While we're on the subject of uh, spiritual communication, if you go to a, a cemetery or some place or any place, never call a spirit by name. Say for argument's sake, um, a past liberty. Shall we take the, the Western uh, film actor, John Wayne? He passed a little while ago a few years ago actually and uh, I've seen videos on YouTube and they're actually calling him by name to come down and speak to them once again that's pretty disrespectful the light that spirits go through it's a two-way door and uh, you calling them out it can really upset them upset them beyond imagination actually so it's probably best not to call them out by name. What I suggest doing is just call out and say, are there any spirits here who wish to communicate with me? Please make yourselves known. I do it that way. And then you leave it totally in the hands of the spirits as to whether or not they wish to speak to you or not. Also, when you're in a place like this, it wouldn't hurt to just let the spirits know why you're here. Which I'm going to do now. So spirits, I've been here before quite often. You may remember me, but in case you don't, my name is Richard. And I live in Knoll. And I'm here today just to communicate with you. Have some fun and banter and see what we can come up with. Maybe make this video for my YouTube channel which is a place where people can actually communicate with us. Now I have a REM pod with me today it'll be a black box with lights on it and it has a, a little stick type thing that comes out of the box so by all means touch the stick and you'll be fine I don't know, we've got a deer down here today. You'll be fine anyway. I have we've got a deer down here. Who's over there? I also have with me a dictaphone and a PSB7 which is a device that scans radio waves pretty cool pretty clear I think you know how to use both of these and I appreciate it if you did come along and you gave us a helping hand with some sort of communication have some fun some banter if you wish to that is I swear I saw a deer. A 
There's not a deer down here, or there's a bloke down here, or something down here. Oh, I swear I saw someone. Black shadow. Just a, a black blob, if you like, walking across the pavement. I don't know if I did or not. If I did, they're gone now. Anyway, we're going to carry on down this pavement. And uh, about the tree trunk is down there, just beyond the gravestone. That's where I'm going to be sitting up. Was there anybody down here with me? Or was there a deer down here? In this case, which way has he gone? Hmm. I oh, don't know, I definitely saw movement, but it could have been a bird flying off. Or oh, it could have been someone that's just made up mess there. You know what I see? Another ghost down there. So anyway guys, this is where I'm going to uh, set up, I think, and we'll see what we can get. The PSP7 will be set up to mandatory mode, hush mode, so who knows, we might get something, might not. So, bear with me, I shall set up, and I'll be back as soon as that's done. Goodbye for now. And here I am again, guys. It's a bit of noise for next door, but there's uh, nothing I can do about that, I'm afraid. Here we have the REM pod. It's at up. And working fine. Here we have the voice recorder with nothing on it at all. Be evident why later. I'm just going to put that down there. <coughs> and then I have my PSP 7 set up, already running in the first suite, 200 ms, and it's on magnitude mode, which is the quiet hush mode. The volume is up full. So that's on 30, and it's doing things quite nicely there. So let's just see if the spirits do want to talk to us today. So spirits, I invite you to come and speak to me today through this device, or using the REM pod there, all you have to do is just touch that aerial that comes out the black box, and you will make it set off the lights and a bit of buzzing sound. Not one piece of the equipment I'm using today will hurt or harm you in any way. So can I ask please how many of you are here with me? There's a bit of traffic noise from the road at the moment. Hope it doesn't interfere too much. The situation where I am, you've got some grey markers there. And you've got a path out there. You've got grey markers down there. And behind me, you've got the little area, the little dip as I call it, the bowl. And uh, the whole lot is set up on a couple of tree trunks like that. I'm just going to lean forward. So spirits, you don't have to speak to me. Nothing, no one's saying that you have to. But if you should so choose, you've got 
the REM pod which you can use to speak to me and you do that just by touching that little metal stick that comes out of it you can speak to me through this the PSB7 or you can really shout very loudly into the voice recorder which is this one just here and you've got these little round parts there and there well they're the microphones so that part there that part there shout into that as loud as you can and it might just pick you up easiest way using the lights maybe on the REM pod or using the PSB7 or whatever please feel free to use whatever one you desire if you choose to speak to me ladies like I say you don't have to How many of you are here? Class, what keeps you here, please? What keeps you here? Can you see a bright white light? What do you think of the graveyard here? and the fact that it's been left to just grow wild. What's your thoughts on that? When I asked the powers that be about the graveyard and whether or not they could send someone in to tidy it up and bring it back to its former glory. I was actually advised that the decision has been made to let this graveyard return to the wild. Is that the way you wish it to be? Or do you yourselves see the graveyard not as we as humans see it but as its former glory? Do you see an old hospital as it once used to be instead of how it is today? There's an awful lot of noise going on here today, isn't there? So this video today is primarily to show you how the PSP7 behaves in hush mode. And I would like to um, sort of like get some sort of communication so you can hear it. So spirits. What? <laughs> Is this a good way to speak to you?
speak. Okay, I think you said speak. So is this a good way of communication? Is this a good way to talk to you, have some banter, some fun? I do have the REM pod as well. Would you like to touch the aerial for me? Make the lights light up, it won't hurt you. Can you just touch the aerial for me? Make it light up. Yeah, maybe not. Is there anything at all that you wish to tell me today, spirits? Don't be afraid. You can trust me. I mean you no harm. Or hurt in any way. Okay. okay, just for ver just for verification. Long word that, isn't it? Can you please Help me out by saying some words which I'm going to say. I'm going to ask you to say three words. And I'd like you to repeat them through the spirit box. So the first word, spirits. I'm just going to wait for the traffic to go. So the first word is bubble. Bubble. Can you say bubble for me? Yeah. The second word, spirits, is three syllables. Summertime. So can you please say the word summertime? Right. And the final word, spirits. The final word is it's goodbye. Is it possible that you can say goodbye? Okay, so I'm going to call this a day and I'm going to count down from five unless I hear the word Richard mentioned. But here, Richard, we'll carry on. So five, four, yeah, three, two, one. Okay, spirits, goodbye. Did I just hear Richard? Don't know. Well, I'm going to turn this off in a spirit, so goodbye.
and then I'm going to stop using the test can. And all will become more evident because, as you can see, I'm going to turn that off and I'm going to bring this up here. Oh, and it's a bit awkward with one hand. There. I just want to say this, just in case we have caught anything. Me moving a bag, by the way. I can't zoom in too close because um, it'll be too much for you. The rim pod is still turned on, so if there are any spirits here that wish to communicate still, just touch that area coming out that black box there. Beautiful day today. See, that sounded like death to me, but I'm just not sure. I'm going to have to analyse that one through a dust team when I get home. Can you see a bright white light? What do you think of the graveyard here and the 
fact that it's been left to just grow wild. What's your thoughts on that? There may have been something there. The Once again, I had to analyse that. Why am I playing this back to you? Immediately. It's just to prove that there is no audio manipulation on my behalf. But what you hear is what you got. Or do you yourselves see the graveyard? Not as we. By playing back the video, the audio, but as like this, immediately, then if I did capture something, something really outstanding, then I can prove that there's no audio manipulation. Don't forget spirits if you're still around here with me that you can still communicate by using the the REM pod there. There's an awful lot of noise going on here today, isn't there? This way of doing things it's not my idea. Not my idea at all. This video today. I actually got the, the idea of a, another YouTube channel and uh, the guy whose channel it is for Smarties for Wizard. Check it out if you haven't already. Great videos on there. Some good techniques too for beginners. Do you hear that? That sounded really cheeky, didn't it? I said, so spirits, and he went, what? I love the cheeky ones. I like having a bit of banter with the spirits. So if you're still here, touch that stick that's coming out of the black box. Just touch it for me. I do have the REM pod as well. Would yeah, you like to funny enough, we're calling it a REM pod. Yeah, it is actually a REM pod. So, go on spirits. Touch, touch the arrow that's coming out of it. That's the little stick thing. Touch the arrow for me. Make it light up. You can still do that now. Maybe you're just up, not up for it today. I don't know if I've got communication properly here today. I'm going to have to analyse this and uh, I should put the video up. But if there is any communication, then obviously I'll subtitle the communication. Thank you. 
be interesting if they said this. I don't think they did that. Do it. Did you hear that? Do it. Could have been Richard oh, Goodbye followed by here. Not sure. I have to analyse that one when I get home. Bye. Hello. I think there was communication there. I'm not sure if it was Richard spoken, but I definitely heard bye. Sure I did. There you go, spirits. That's that turned off. That turned off. That is still. That road of light had any spirits touched it. So there you go, that's this session using the PSB 7 in magnitude mode and hopefully uh, the communication that did occur. I think there was some, just not as great as I normally get down here. Hopefully the communication we got will be um, validated also on the voice recorder. And that will save you all from thinking that there's some kind of um, audio manipulation going on or anything like that. So guys, for now... I'm going to say goodbye, get back and analyse all this and uh, hopefully have it up for you in a few days. So until next time, take care guys, see you soon.